Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today as we go ahead and take a look into season three, episode number two of The Big Bang Theory. So, of course, if you guys are a fan of the show, don't forget to leave that like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are also a fan of what we do here in Geeked Out, don't forget to leave us that like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want some early and unedited episodes, then go ahead and check us out on our Patreon. Of course, only if that is something that interests you guys. So, very quickly, you guys, I'm pumped to get this show on the road. Um, as you guys know, I've been really wanting to see Penny and Leonard, you know, be pursued as far as them two actually trying to be something other than friends. I always felt the chemistry was there. I always felt that they liked each other, but they were always kind of weird when it came to telling each other how they truly felt. Um, it wasn't until the last season, the last episode of the last season, where Penny was actually able to tell Leonard how she really she really felt about him and we as our the viewers already know how Leonard feels about Penny so I'm super excited to see where this takes us as far as with that relationship um and yeah that's what I've been wanting to see for so long so now that they teased us with that uh the last season the last episode and then a little bit in the last episode of this season I'm really excited so I really want to see what's going to happen here um with this next episode or the next season to be exact as far as what's going to happen between uh Leonard and Penny so without further ado let's have some fun with this episode and see what this episode is going to be all about um without for like I said without further ado I'm just going to shut up now so here we go let's have some fun this is the Big Bang Theory and here we go you think if I were wrong I'd know it <laughs> like, first of all, like, something that Sheldon would very much but... say I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing here? What do you mean? It's new comic book. Night. It's highly recommended. <laughs> yeah, take advantage of that oh my god! Before it slams shut on your little dinky. <laughs> it's not a matter of opportunity. We're well, me easy peasy. <laughs> what Leonard is obliquely referring to is the occurrence of some sort of sexual dysfunction. I totally see it not being great for her. Am I right? Oh yeah. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I think we were both a little... Just felt weird. Disappointed, let down. Ashamed. <laughs> because in your dreams, you're a horse from the waist down. <laughs> Excuse me, Wolverine Origin, miniseries issue two, page 22, retractable bone claws. You people spend Got, um, time thinking about sex and more time concentrating on comic books. We have far fewer of these embarrassing moments. You tell them, Sheldon. <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot den. Oh, this is his, this seems like it's gonna be a good one, you guys. Sheldon, dinner's here. Tandoori Palace. No, we went somewhere new. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You're naturedly ribbing me, aren't you? Now look, Mumbai Palace. Why? Why <laughs> change? We had a perfectly good palace. To Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> not exactly. Not bad, but not great. <laughs> These guys are assholes. What are they talking about? Uh, I don't know. I know, as I'm sure yeah, you're aware. that followed. <laughs> She's gonna be bad. Well, I'm just gonna go eat my dinner elsewhere. Maybe an airplane headed for a mountainside. Damn, Sheldon, why would you do that? Aw, oh, damn. What is wrong with you? I just don't think you should have told her. Uh, don't tell. Let's see if he can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking so hard. I'm so embarrassed. Please don't. Okay. Oh, that sounds okay. worse than fine. It's a perfectly good word. I mean, <laughs> I would have been like, hell no. <laughs> you know, for a lot of couples, it takes time to get. Only you, Leonard. You and Sheldon always has to take no, it there. Talk, just drink. <laughs> right? Whatever, dude. The point is, Leonard's got one and you don't. <laughs> is this it? It was inappropriate to discuss Leonard and Penny's sex life in front of Leonard and Penny. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Watch him not even like the food. Oh, give me a freaking break. How could you possibly right. know that? Right. I was just thinking that. Emil Dolbear determined that there was a fixed relationship oh. between the number of chirps per Probably should never ask. tree cricket and the ambient temperature, a precise relationship that is not present with ordinary... Oh, my God. Really? Oh, dude, <laughs> you are never getting a shiksa goddess. 
Chickens can't climb trees. Thank right. God. <laughs> okay. I believe a chicken made you his bitch. Oh. <laughs> Cricket thing I don't buy. Bet me. World's issue. That sounds serious. Right. You have a wager. <laughs> Who's gonna catch it? <laughs> They're looking. I wonder what the non-pathetic people are doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just drinking wine still. Damn it, find the cricket. I want to know who wins this. I, don't see anything. I think Howard's going to win it. <laughs> One at a time. Sheldon first. <laughs> Yin Fu doesn't agree with me. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Down the hall. Help me open it. Oh my god, it's out of order. Empty elevator shaft? Fine. If you need physical confrontation, be it Ooh. the beast swirlies or the classic why are you hitting yourself? Oh. Ooh, big talk from a man who was once treated by a chicken. <laughs> Good point, Rod. Good point. Yo, they're drinking straight liquor now. Damn. What are we drinking now? <laughs> These two, I swear. Be careful. If Everybody I'm right now. <laughs> you're telling me to be careful? <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> Hello? They're gonna screw Sheldon. Oh no. It's really dark. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so nasty. Oh, Toby. Him. An appropriate cricket name? For example, like what? Jiminy? Oh. <laughs> All right, Sheldon, here we go. Klein Gas Field Guide to North American Insects. Fake Toby. <laughs> he said Toby, too. Here. See it? The common field cricket ache. Room and come up with three better friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's right. My money's on Howard. I'm hoping he's oh, right. Crap. They're probably both wrong, though. <gasps> it's gonna get eaten. Galore? Oh. oh, oh, oh. From New Delhi. <laughs> that was messed we up. <laughs> no, no, we're here. Let's... What a stupid name for a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. It's a field cricket. Yes, it's oh, a field cricket. Oh, you sure? Oh. And likes to wear boot cut jeans. <laughs> So you Damn it, it's a field cricket. Bank, God knows I, <laughs> I was wrong. Time to get out. Congratulations. Uh oh. Enjoy Oxnard. <laughs> Just close the door. Looking forward to having you. He's so hurt. <laughs> He's so hurt. <laughs> Old comic books. Printing sex. I think it's more than that. And I'll tell you guys when the show's over. Return to being friends. Where's Riley's chicken? What's Mrs. Riley's chicken? Long story. The chicken that was owned by Mrs. Riley. Okay, forget the chicken. I was trivial. I lost a bet to Wallowitz. He's so hurt about that. Talk to Penny. Yes. Interesting. Hardly. Excuse me. Oh, who cares? <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to think about it this time. Screw it. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Okie dokie. <laughs> he said it the way she said it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that seems to be our episode for today. Season number three, episode number two, all the Big Bang Theory. Sorry. Um, anyways, it was great. It was funny, man. Um, let's get straight. Let's just get straight to it. And the only thing that really I feel like needs to be really talked about is the whole Penny situation with Leonard. Now, to me, it felt as if the two couldn't quite get it right. Now, that's kind of the vibe I caught from this episode. And... I'm not going to lie, at first I was going to be very upset if that was how it was going to end as far as Penny saying, let's just be friends. I mean, now let me explain really quick. 
um, I wouldn't be like sitting here like, oh, shit, damn it, they're done. They're not going to be a couple anymore. I wasn't going to be like that, no. I think what Penny was trying to do and say, I think, was legit. You know, she felt that the chemistry between them just didn't seem right. It didn't seem like, I don't know, something felt very weird. Something felt very odd between the two um, as far as them trying to potentially make this a thing. And I was kind of upset that she was going to go ahead and just say we should stay as friends. Um because I felt like this is kind of like what we saw already in the first two episodes. Now, uh, not first two episodes, I'm sorry, the first two seasons. The first season when they had the moment of them kissing um, the first time, but Penny obviously had a few to drink, and I think Leonard didn't want to take advantage of that. Um, so there was an excuse there. Then there was another moment, um, I believe, in the second season where they almost had a moment, but then nothing happened. So when we finally got this moment where they're about to finally be a thing with each other, they just can't seem to get it right. And at first I'm I'm like, damn it, that sucks. But it's very realistic. It's very true. Um, you know, when you're when you're friends with someone for so long and then you just try to date them, it could be, you know, kind of weird. It could be awkward, which that that's exactly what they were experiencing. But I assumed that they were just going to, going to work through it. Now, when they when they had the moment of drinking wine, drinking alcohol, which I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Let me get to that moment so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, let me get right to it. I want to get straight to that moment. So that's just before they. I want to get the drinks there so that way you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, I know you guys know what I'm talking about because we literally just watched it, but I like to like. You know, when we talk about what we're... T obviously, when I'm talking about something, I like to just show you guys so that way you guys get the idea of what scene I'm talking about. But anyways, so here's the scene actually I was getting ready to talk about. So Penny brings out the drinks. And for me, this is my way... Well, to me, this is Penny's way of loosening up. And I think that's what she was trying to do because the, the it felt so awkward between them two. Um... You know, and, and I, I get it. They started to drink a lot, a lot, a lot. And it started to get just a little bit too out of hand, in my opinion. You know, um, it started to get, to me, it felt very uncharacteristic for for them to continue doing it the way that they were doing it. And, you know, I felt bad because they were trying to make something happen here, but it just wasn't quite working. So this is why I was saying, like, okay, I understand why Penny was like, okay, she probably doesn't want to be... They don't want to mess anything up between the two, and I get it. So when I saw that, and then Penny said what she said at the end, I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. And I was ready to tell you guys, too. I was going to tell you guys, like, if this is it for real, let this be it. I don't want to see these two mess around with each other you know, giving us as viewers hope that they would eventually get together and then that won't happen. Um, but then they had the moment at the end where they kissed uh, one another um, again at the end. So it kind of left me at a like, I don't really know what's going on. And also, I don't know whether or not if Penny and Leonard really knows what's going on. I feel like they're letting the emotions, the feelings of what they feel for each other get the best of one another. Um I mean, obviously not in a bad way. They genuinely care for each other. They they do like each other. But whether if, if it's right or if it's wrong, I'm, I'm not sure because I don't know. I don't know because it seems very, it seems very like, what's the word that I'm trying to use here? I don't know. Like it just, it felt very like, like, I don't know. I, I just hope that it works, but I wouldn't want the show to force it on us, you know? Like, it felt very real with Penny. I was, like, what Penny was telling Leonard here, it felt very real. She didn't want to mess anything up. And it, it, it was kind of true. They kind of didn't seem very similar with each other. It felt very weird and awkward when they were around each other. So, I don't know. Now, whether they're going to be a thing by the next episode or throughout this whole season... I was really hoping so, you guys, but I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, there's just too much at stake, it seems like, between these two, you know? Um, the friendship, uh, them not being able to talk to each other if it gets weird or awkward, which, I mean, 
you know, it felt like that's where it was heading. You know, it definitely felt that it felt that it was going to head in that direction. Now, honestly, I do feel I do feel like they could possibly try to be friends with benefits. That's like a little prediction that I do want to make right here in front of you guys now. Um, I do have a prediction that, you know, they might stay as friends with benefits. Um, but I'm going to say this now, you guys. If they do that, I don't think it's going to work. Um, I just don't see it happening. They, they're they too good of friends to, to, to do each other like that. You know what I mean? Um, they're probably going to try it out at first, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't see it happening, like, to the point where it's going to work out. Um, but I hope that they do eventually stay together. I'm not sure if they are or not. Like I said, the ending, the ending was a bit confusing as far as telling me whether or not if they want to still be together. I mean, clearly they want to be with each other, but I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that they do. That's that's the that's what I'm really like hoping for. But who knows? Um, overall, though, guys, it was such a great episode. Howard, Sheldon, they were all stars this episode. They had me laughing through beginning through end. Um, Raj was like the middleman, you know, he was balancing everything out between the two and he had just as equal, uh, amount of laughs as everybody in this, in this, uh, episode did as far as like what Sheldon and, and Howard was doing. They were great. They were so, so funny in this episode. It was hard not to laugh watching these two. Um, they're just so funny, man. Like, and the, the fact they were really going so crazy, so hard about this crooked, uh, this cricket, <laughs> Um, to, to, to figure out what species, uh, what kind of species it was. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, it was just so funny. Like, what kind of cricket he was is just so funny to me. And I'm happy Howard won. I am happy Howard won because, you know, Sheldon does seem like the type where he knows it all. So to see him lose this one kind of felt good to see, you know. Um, I do feel bad, though, that he did lose his comic to, to Howard. But sometimes you can't make bets you can't keep, you know what I mean? So that was awesome, though. It was a great episode, you guys. Great, great stuff uh, happened in here. Hopefully, like I was tell telling you guys, hopefully Penny and Leonard could, you know, make it work. Hopefully they could find some way somehow to, damn it, make it make it official. But like I said, if they don't make it happen, I'm completely cool with it, too. Um, based off everything Penny said, you know, what she said felt very real and very honest. So I'm cool with that as well. But We'll have to continue watching the show to find out what happens. So hopefully I get to see you guys on the next episode of The Big Bang Theory. And that's all the time we have. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys then.